Honeymoon is a very fitting word to describe the period of time after one starts a vegan diet for two reasons. The first being that a honeymoon is an enjoyable period of time. In this case, the vegan diet is more enjoyable than the person's past diet. The second, that it is often romanticized and portrayed beyond what it was. You know, you just got married, you're super happy, you're excited, you're going to live this glamorous life together, you go on your honeymoon. Same thing with the vegan diet. Oh, I'm going to save the animals, I'm going to save the environment, I'm going to be so healthy. To you at that point in time, it means the world. But to everyone else, that's not the case. And since most people are following a standard American diet before they go vegan, they do feel better. But there are people that actually do feel worse when they go vegan, just like there are people that don't enjoy their honeymoon. So the standard American diet is so horrendous, so inflammatory and devoid of nutrition that following a diet of only plants that lacks key nutrients actually works. That is, until those nutrient deficiencies manifest themselves. You might have heard vegans increasing their sex drive and that actually makes sense because feedlot conventional meat can be highly estrogenic. And if you remove that from your diet, you know, your testosterone goes up, you feel better on a vegan diet, ironically. We see this all the time, and it's apparent with the amount of people that say they feel great going vegan on a whole foods plant-based diet. I mean, you're going to feel better when you remove that poison from your diet that you're eating every few hours every single day. So you went from a very negative diet to a neutral diet. A vegan diet can be minimally inflammatory if done with whole foods, but it has no net positives as it doesn't provide the body with all of the nutrients we need, regardless of supplementation. Think of it as a growing child. A growing child needs certain vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids to develop optimally. If you give that child an energy source, which is what a vegan diet essentially is, you know, the child can survive, can move, but it cannot grow. A vegan diet is essentially a minimally inflammatory energy source if done properly. It doesn't have actual building blocks for our bodies. A standard American diet is already lacking nutrients, specifically in their animal form. All of these people plugging in fruits and vegetables into their fitness trackers, their nutrition apps, they're being lied to. You might as well write vitamin A on a piece of paper and eat that piece of paper because there is a significant difference between the plant forms of vitamins and the animal forms of vitamins and vegans firmly believe and they'll tell you that your body can convert these nutrients. Yeah, well why are half of the vegans wasting away? So a standard American diet actually does get some of these animal nutrients that we need to build our bodies. And by chance, if you're a cheese lover, you're actually getting a decent amount of them. But the only real animal vitamins we do get in a standard American diet, maybe some B vitamins, maybe some vitamin A, people are usually deficient in D3, K2, omega fatty acids, mineral imbalances, iodine, a lot of stuff still missing. Many modern diseases and ailments are actually related to these nutrients that are missing, but we are so used to treating everything at the doctor with a pill, a supplement, our for-profit capitalist society, that we aren't looking at the real solution, a natural diet with a base of quality animal foods. Most importantly, the burden of proof needs to be on vegans, not us. It's very clear a vegan diet is not healthy and does not provide all adequate nutrients. Children and babies are literally dying. People are wasting away, passing out, having strokes, yet vegans are saying, oh, can you prove a vegan diet isn't deficient in these nutrients? Oh, a vegan diet is adequate for all stages of life. Really? So, so what, the people that aren't dropping dead yet, it's adequate for them? The fact that a vegan diet is accepted as healthy to me is insanity, complete insanity. That being said, the majority of vegans will encounter anemia in the first one or two years of this diet. Granted, they made it past adulthood and their parents weren't cruel. Uh, so anemia is a condition where your body doesn't make enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen to your tissues. According to vegans, you only need three nutrients to prevent anemia vitamin B12, which can be supplemented, B9 folate, it's in plant foods, and iron is in the form of non-heme iron in plant foods as well. 
if it was so easy, if it was so simple, why are vegans still becoming anemic? Because they're not absorbing the nutrients. Why aren't they absorbing the nutrients? Because the body isn't that simple. There are so many enzymatic reactions, cofactors, other nutrients you need to absorb them. And vegans, being the dodos that they are, that just like to watch documentaries and hug animals, they don't actually do nutrition research. They just parrot what they've heard from people and it's incorrect. It's not just vitamin B12 and folate that's needed to make red blood cells. You need vitamin B6, various animal specific amino acids. You don't just eat iron, it doesn't just get absorbed in your body. You need copper, you need vitamin C, you need vitamin A in its animal form retinol. If retinol is not present in your diet in its animal form, you might be able to store some iron in your liver, but it cannot be transported. This is why, despite all this supplementing, that vegans are still suffering from health issues. And there are vegans that last for dozens of years on a vegan diet, crumbling into a corpse that can't string together more than three words. You will deteriorate on a vegan diet, whether it's three months or three decades. There's a lot of genetic variance here. Another deficiency that manifests itself pretty clearly is omega-3 fatty acid DHA. Celebrity Anne Hathaway, recent ex-vegan Matt Monarch, Raw Alignment. Every single vegan that eats a piece of fish says the exact same thing. I felt like my brain was rebooting. All of a sudden, like, turns into like, like I could just feel all this like energy coming in. And then all of a sudden, like in my brain, like all of a sudden, have you ever seen one of those cartoons where it just goes, boop, boop. It's like a, like the cartoon character's head turns into a train and it goes, boop, boop. And I'm sitting there like flying. I have all this energy. I didn't know what was going on. I'm, I've only taken like two bites of this thing. I tried salmon. I had eight ounces of salmon and I woke up the next morning with zero congestion and zero brain fog, zero migraine, zero lack of clarity. I felt the best that I had in <laughs> probably like three years. The brain requires a certain amount of fatty acids every day, something vegans might have known if they read any actual scientific literature. And they'll tell you that the body can make all the fatty acids you need. But if you read that same scientific literature, you will find that to be false. It's lies upon lies upon lies parroted between cute, cuddly animal lovers. They'll say your body can convert carotene to retinol, that you don't need vitamin K2, that your body can make it, that the forms of minerals and plant foods aren't inhibited too much by anti-nutrients. But if you look at the literature, there's far too much mechanistic evidence. There is a reason that vegan brain fog is a meme. Every vegan YouTuber cuts their videos every five seconds because they can't hold their train of thought. It's the perfect mass population control diet. You can't think straight and you can't form a coherence. It's, 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 it's perfect scenario. It's exactly what they want. These are just two of the dozens of hypothetical issues you will see once you remove animal foods from your diet, anemia and omega fatty acid deficiency. Vegans are oversimplifying the very complex topic of nutrition. When you have any food, animal food, plant food, there are so many nutrients in that food in their natural form, in their natural ratio, that you cannot replicate with a supplement. And even if you did, you couldn't replicate all of them, and you certainly would not be getting the ratios right. Nature has everything as intended. If we follow our ancestral diets with a base of quality animal foods, with wild plant foods, we will be healthy. This is lie upon lie upon lie to keep you in the vegan cult as long as possible. There are people who are so ingrained in veganism, they suffer for years and years, they take it to the grave. Until it becomes mainstream knowledge that you cannot obtain these nutrients from plant foods, even from low quality animal foods, we are fighting an uphill battle. Veganism should have been dismantled on every front. Health, environment, morals and ethics, they are wrong on everything, but most people accept them as right. It's all a lie. It's just, it's, it's insanity. There's no other word for it. I'm you know curious how this stuff keeps panning out. It really is interesting how easy it is to keep the truth from the general population. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, 
hit that bell icon and share the video if you can. If you guys do want to support me further, definitely check out my book down in the description below, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hitomi blocked me on Instagram, so I don't think we're going on a date anytime soon.